there are several Scooby-Doo Christmas specials. And while I did consider doing it, it's a Nutcracker Scoob Scoop included on this DVD, I thought they actually to cover it's a episode of What's New Scooby-Doo. Um, on the back, they actually called the episode a Scooby-Doo Christmas. Though, on the menu of the DVD, it called it a Scooby-Doo Christmas special or, or something along those lines. So, why the menu and the packaging called it differently, I don't know. But so the premise of this episode is the gang's on the way to um, Daphne's uncle's condo in a place called um, Mill Valley, but the bridge is out. So they end up spending Christmas Eve in a town called Winter Hollow. A very Christmassy name, by the way. But apparently this town doesn't celebrate Christmas because every Christmas, a headless snowman who has a head terrorizes the town. But yeah, the, the headless snowman has a head. How can it be? Okay, he can remove his head, but that doesn't make him headless. Now, if he had a pumpkin on his head, because okay, that'd be more Halloween, um, or just didn't have a head in general, or just had the top hat, sure, but he has a head! He has a head! Naming conventions aside, it's the head of snowman's supposedly the ghost of a highway robber in the area from over 100 years ago. Who had stolen from a um, immigrant to the area who in bunch of gold bars. And as we find out, the guy behind the mask in this case is actually the descendant of the guy who was robbed and wants to recover his family's fortune. Um, but in the spirit of Christmas, the town forgets him, starting with the, the um, character Tommy, a young boy. And I do appreciate that he was the one who went forward. Because oftentimes children have the purest of hearts and are most able to forgive. I do feel like children can forgive a bit better than adults can, um, when they know that's like you feel jaded and all that in some regards. But he forgives Professor Higgins, the, the person who was terrorizing the town, because it's Christmas. But also, so um, H Higgins realizes that he was essentially being a joke to the entire town, and decides also in Spirit of Christmas to share his family fortune with the town. So he gives everyone a gold brick. I mean, talk about a Christmas gift, but I, but I think that's a important thing, like, Christmas is about, you know, giving, so Tommy gave, gave Higgins a scarf and, for, and gives the gift of forgiveness, um, and, and then Higgins in turn also gives to the whole town, and one of those gold bricks, for everyone who lost their, fi lost their fireplace during all this, yeah, that can definitely help them afford to build a new fireplace. Um, and I think it's a, sure we can talk about all the normal Scooby-Doo hijinks that, but this is one where the villain for that better term wins. But he, he, he gets, he's not a villain. And you can definitely tell that he's a man who, you know, has felt sorry for him and his family. And really until he got a little bit of Christmas spirit for himself, he wasn't able to share it. Um, as a, as a um, Christian, there's, also, there's a lot of talk about the fruits of the spirit. Um, or the idea is, is you, the gifts that you receive from God and all that you share with others. Um, that's a very, um, truncated summary, if you will. But in many ways, that's what Christmas is to most Christians. Well, not most. Let's be real. Some Christians don't behave like Christians. But in many ways, you receive a gift from God, but you also give to others what you have, um, in ways that you can. And if you can't, you still find ways to help out. Um, maybe it could be as simple as, as giving them a warm greeting. That could be all it takes. Um, and Scooby-Doo, which the most we give references to religion are generally graveyards. Um, and, all, and when it does involve the ghosts themselves, it's always like just a graveyard or a location setting. I think has one of the best messages about giving. You no, know, you give forgiveness, you no, know, the gift of forgiveness and all that and being able to share that gift with others in maybe not exactly the same way, but in many other ways. Um, so yeah, that's the reason why I wanted to talk about this um, episode of What's New Scooby-Doo for my like, 12 Days of Christmas. Let me know your thoughts on all this in the comment section down below. Also, feel free to like, upvote, and share the video if you haven't yet done so. And feel free to subscribe to the channel as well if you are so inclined. And as always, have a good day, good night, wherever you are. Happy Holidays and a Merry Christmas!